Well, it's Belmont Stakes Day, and the weather in Elmont, New York, is looking pretty great, but there is a chance for some showers. Yeah, that could wet the track. We want this to be a dry track so the horses don't have any problems. Rain can actually have that dramatic effect on the horses racing. So joining us to share their knowledge on racing in the rain is Horse Racing Nation uh, Content Vice President Ed DeRosa. Ed, thank you for joining us here on Fox Weather. And uh, we're just My talking pleasure. about it. Yeah, uh, there's a small chance of rain for Belmont Park today. How are the riders preparing for that possibility? Well, um, all the riders in the race are definitely veteran jockeys, so they're familiar with what happens to the track when it rains. But Belmont Park's the biggest track in the country, so it is a little different. More rain means more moisture on a big track such as this. And at Belmont, you definitely want to get what I call in the tire track. So if it rains... They have those tractors. You just saw one to the left of your screen as they were panning. They go over the track. They try to make it as even as possible. But when you're turning for home, the tire track is the place to be, and the jockeys know that. So getting that position, even more important in sloppy conditions. And actually tell us how those muddy tracks can actually affect the horse races. Yeah, there's, uh, I would say, three variables that are affected when we get adverse weather. There's pedigree. Certain horses definitely have a uh, preference for muddy conditions based on who their mother and father is, as we like to say, their mother was a mother. Then there's also just horses who handle it better, jockeys who handle it better. And then there's running style. If you're at the front of the pack, you're less likely to get muddied up, dirtied. When horses run, they kick dirt back. Mm -hmm. And the muddier it is, the harder and more voluminous that dirt is. So it definitely favors front runners when it's conditions like that. Hope That would take a lot of rain to get to that point. We have seen it happen, though. And if it does, you definitely want to move up horses who figure to be on the front end. Yeah, so Ed, I want to ask you more about that. Let's hypothetically say it does rain a little bit. Are there any horses in this race specifically for the Belmont that that would kind of help their, you know, their card, maybe that they would perform better in? Absolutely. Uh, as you like to say, near Belmont Park on Broadway, we the people is a triple threat because he has won on the slop. This was, uh, I think, four weeks ago in a race called the Peter Pan at Belmont Park. It rained. It was sloppy. He won. So he has experience. His sire is Constitution. And that sire, his progeny at the track, 22% win rate on muddy tracks. Typically, Constitution's more of 15 or 16% sire. So that's a big move up based on his pedigree. And He's a front runner. He's going to be on the lead. So he's going to have the least amount of dirt kicked in his face as if he's able to make the lead from the rail. It all adds up that if we get moisture in the late afternoon at Belmont Park, you definitely want to upgrade We the People. And is it more difficult? We talked about the, the horses, but is it more difficult for the jockeys to do their performance in the rain? Uh, I would say marginally, and, and one of the big reasons why it's more difficult is jockeys wear goggles, and if you're watching the race in uh, muddy conditions, you'll actually see them take the goggles off as the race goes on. They don't have little windshield wipers on the goggles, so if they get muddied up, instead of trying to clear it off, they just rip them off, and these jockeys will wear eight, nine, ten pairs of goggles okay. on the track in muddy conditions. Wow, that's fast. I never even knew that, Ed, wearing that many yeah. goggles, how that would be something else that you have to, of everything else that's going on, you have to worry about your equipment and trying to <laughs> exactly. make sure that I you mean, have Think pure. about 35 miles per hour on a thoroughbred, yeah. and you're steering it, and then you're having to do this during the race. It's impressive. I've been on a motorcycle traveling roughly that speed, <laughs> and in the rain, it's blistering. It's pelting you if there is that rain. can imagine doing right. that on a horse. Racing Nation content vice president Ed DeRosa, it was my pleasure. Thank you for being on us, uh, being here on at Fox Weather with us. My pleasure. Let's win some money today. <laughs> yeah, let's do it.